Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special video for you guys. Today we are going to talk about The Hanging Man, Little Nightmares, and the theories that I have when it comes to this character and possibly a prequel for Little Nightmares. So is The Hanging Man a corporate stooge or is he an unsung hero? We are about to find out. <laughs> now let's talk about this. Now. What started this whole theory is that we saw in the after credit cutscene a shot of television, a pair of men's slippers, a bunch of cigarettes and an ashtray, and a bunch of small narrow cans strewn about the room. And this got me thinking, where else have we seen the slippers in this game? I did a quick video the other day just stating how I made the connection that the slippers were, did in fact belong to the Hanging Man, as we can see in the very first shot of the game when we first start playing Little Nightmares, when Six wakes up and she is in a suitcase surrounded by the cans of food and the slippers are in the next room with the Hanging Man. So there is a direct correlation between the hanging man, his belongings, his cans, his slippers, and then also the cigarettes. Now let's begin with the theories. Let's look at the end game cutscene. We see what appears to be a den or man cave type room. He is obviously living here and spends a lot of time here. He compulsively smokes, shown by the cigarettes and ashtray littered with cigarette butts. Plenty of cans of food are strewn about the area. His bedroom slippers are present, so this must be where he sleeps as well. We see a staticky TV, and for a split second we see a figure. It almost looks like a piece of concept art. I believe this is the Hanging Man, and I'm going to tell you why I think it is the Hanging Man and how I can prove it. <laughs> Number one, I can prove his presence throughout the first section. Number two, who I think he is. Number three, what role he plays in this game. And number four, why he physically does not look like one of the guests. First of all, I want to thank The Lost Shoes, who is a good friend to the channel. She is also my CEO of Easter Eggs, and we talk a lot about theory videos, especially for this game. We worked together, told her about the slippers. She came back to me and said, what about the ashtrays and what about the cigarettes? So talking about this bird, this whole theory video on going back and finding all the clues. So please check out her channel. It is The Lost Shoes on YouTube. She streams and her, her content is great. Please check her out. She is a good friend to the channel. And if you subscribe to her, please tell her that I sent you. So first, let's take a look at the first clues of when we first meet the Hanging Man. At the very beginning of Little Nightmares, we start with Six waking up in a suitcase. She is surrounded by the cans of food. Opening scene, we see the cans and slippers. In the next room, when we actually find the hanging man, we see him hanging there, what his body looks like, and we find his slippers next to his mattress that's on the floor. Now, here are all the places where we see the cigarettes and the ashtrays and the food cans. So the very first shot, we see the opening scene with six, we see cans. The next room, we find the slippers, and we find cans littered throughout the entire area in the opening scenes. We see cans as we are being led by the gnome up the stairs. Then, after climbing the rope that the escape kid used, we go into the playground area with the electrified fences to see an ashtray filled with cigarettes right in the center of the floor. This proves that he was there. These are the telltale signs of his presence in this area. Right after seeing the sleeping children in the cribs in the orphanage, we pass through the cafeteria where the lone child feeds six what I originally thought was bread, but now I believe that that was her first piece of flesh. But right after that room, we see a noose. This won't be the last time we see a noose in this game. We can also find a noose in the hideaway DLC. Why were there nooses in this area? Did he leave that as a way out for the children in case they couldn't go on? Or were the nooses for him? Following the area with that first noose that we find, we enter a room that looks like an office. It has filing cabinets with papers everywhere. And once again, we see the ashtray filled with cigarettes. Then as we progress directly to jumping down on a noose, he had this set up. When we leave the area, we get a trophy called the prison. So the orphanage is in fact a prison for these children. Maybe he was leaving them a way out. We go directly from leaving the prison and there is another office down the steps. Then we go upstairs to the hanging man's bedroom. I know this is the hanging man's bedroom because we find his slippers in this room and a can of food and also a suitcase. 
does he use these suitcases to sneak the small children in or out of the mall? But looking around his room, it looks like a nice room. He has pictures up on his wall of children and gnomes. Also note that everything in this room is designed for an extremely tall person. The cabinets, his dresser, the sink. There is also a suitcase. He also has a prominent picture of the janitor in his room. Are they actually related? After getting caught in the trap, we meet what we would later come to find out is the kid unconscious in his cage. Our paths are destined to cross in this game more than once. But after leaving that room, we find more cans. Is this the hanging man's way of trying to feed the children and maybe the gnomes as well? Food that is safe for them to eat and won't let them become like the guests. These cans are littered everywhere. He's trying to let them know that you don't have to eat human flesh, but do any stop and actually partake of the humane food. But it looks like he never stops trying. They are everywhere. The expression enough to feed an army comes to my mind when I see this. Maybe he's trying to get the kids to rise up and fight the tyranny of the lady and the guests. He doesn't want them to become the guests next meal. So is this why he went from this beautiful bedroom to the banishment of the dark bowels of the prison? These cans are not the same cans we see in the chef's kitchen. They're much bigger in there. So it's safe to assume that the cans the hanging man have everywhere is not the same food that is in the cans in the kitchen. After we escape the chefs in the kitchen, we go down a shaft and there are more cans. Once we leave the kitchen, we don't see any more clues of the hanging man until we see a very large doorway in the residence DLC. The regular doors throughout this game are not large enough for him to fit through. But in the final DLC in the residence, we see a large doorway. Did he also live with the lady? Were they a family? So there are my points that prove his existence and presence in this section of the game, the prison all the way through to when we escape the kitchen. I've also told you what I think his role was in this game. I think he became an accidental hero and a liberator of the children. I think he was a mole. He starts off as a suit, a businessman, a government agent, working for the system as a bureaucrat, helping to bring the children to the mall under false pretenses that this would be a better life for them than the one in the outside world. I believe he did not partake of the rituals of eating the flesh. Is that why he was hired? If he didn't eat the flesh, he wouldn't be tempted to eat the children and therefore he would be the perfect liaison to work with the children and the lady. But once in this dark reality, he realized he could not continue the cycle of death and feeding. So he tried to help. Where did the escape girl get all the sheets to tie together to escape from? His mattress didn't have any on them in the room where we see him hanging. He leaves canned food for the children everywhere on their path to escape to feed on instead of the flesh that everyone on the ship succumbs to. This is also why he is not the same shape as the guests. He is real thin because he doesn't gorge himself on flesh. He does not have the insatiable hunger. You know, since he doesn't eat human flesh, he eats the food that comes out of the cans, like, you know, like a vegetarian or a vegan would. The hanging man is the reluctant hero of the story. Once he is hired to bring the children here and all the paperwork and red tape that goes along with it, showed by his cigarettes on the filing cabinet, he finds that he wants to help the children. He tries to save them by showing them there is another way to survive and maybe even escape. What role will he have in a possible prequel? It was so brilliantly teased in the endgame cutscene that spurred this entire theory. Maybe his origin story and how he tries to save the children, and maybe we will even see his relationship with the lady. This is just my theory based on the facts that I've seen. Please let me know in the comments what you think and if you're excited for the next game in the Little Nightmares universe, because I sure as hell am. Tarsier Studios said they would be working on a new game in this universe more than a DLC, so I'm very happy about that. If you like this content and if you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much. Uh, and if you can also, please support me on Patreon. I'm really trying to grow the channel and every little bit helps. Thank you so much for any and all support. If you cannot help me on Patreon, share these videos, like these videos, retweet my tweets on Twitter at OC Deirdre. Any help is greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back with more.